Hello, welcome to the Coach You Lessons. My name is Jamie and I'll be your guide for these lessons. Currently, I work in a national lab where many scientists come together to do research. I find it fascinating since we're constantly learning things that no one has ever found before. So why is this important? Well, a big part of my job involves programming and I absolutely love it. There are so many powerful tasks I can complete using programming and I'm always learning new things. Along with this, programming often feels like a puzzle that has to be solved, which brings it really fun. Well, that and the fact that I get to use a supercomputer. I hope you feel equally as excited about programming either now or by the end of these lessons. So let's dive in. First of all, why use CodeTrue? Beyond programming being super cool, why should you even be interested in these lessons? Well, one important thing is that CodeTrue is a Python-based language. No, not the snake. That would be horrifying and dangerous for our little shrew friend. When I mention Python, I am referring to a programming language that is very commonly used since it is very easy to use, powerful, and quick to get up and running. This is actually what I use daily at my job, and it's my favorite language to work with. By CodeTrue being based on this language, it will be easy for you to apply your shiny new coding skills later if you move on to coding in Python or similar languages. And what do I mean by languages? Well, this just means a set of rules you abide by when writing code. Much like when speaking English, you can't just mash a bunch of stuff together and expect humans to understand what you want, much less a computer. This takes us to our second reason for using CodeTrue. We will be learning about different components of programming rules. With a set of rules and techniques we will learn here, we can make fun designs and animations. So see this image here on the right? Yep, this was made using CodeTrue. So let's learn some new skills, test them out, and challenge ourselves. What do we have to lose? So how do these lessons work then? Well, each lesson will cover a different important aspect of programming, and to help you get comfortable with each new piece, there will be videos, written out concepts, and a playground. Like Playground, I'm referring to the part of each lesson where code is provided to you and you can experiment with it, learning more about the different concepts in each lesson. Additionally, outside these lessons, you can attempt different challenges, which is where you're shown a design or animation and your task is to recreate it. You can even make challenges for others to complete. And of course, at any time, you can draw freely with CodeTrue and use the skills you learn from these lessons to create something you couldn't have accomplished before. So let's quickly check out the playground so you can see how it works before we officially get started with lessons. So this is the playground and you'll find it at the bottom of each lesson. Take time to go through these examples as they'll be reviewed for the lesson and allow you to really take time to understand what was covered. You can go through, decide something you wanna change and then change the code to make sure you know how to make that change. Try changing colors, values and even removing lines to see what happens. If you like what you created, you can save your creation to your profile. Next, let's check out the challenges really briefly. These are examples of what you can make on CodeTrue and your challenge is to recreate it with just a few hints. These can be completed at your own pace and you can actually get started on them before finishing all the lessons. So to start, let's look at the American flag example. At the top of the page, you'll see the design or animation created with CodeTrue. Below that, there are hints to help guide you, and these are especially meant to help with values that aren't obvious by just looking at the image. For example, we show what size the stars are and the position of the first star. At the bottom of the page, you'll find the console where you can complete the challenge by recreating the image. Note this is not tracked, so it is up to you to judge your success. All right, so that's code true. Now it's time to experiment with the site yourself. Check out the playground here, maybe other people's designs, and just make sure you're generally comfortable with how things are laid out. When you're ready, move on to your first lesson and let's get programming.